We're still tackling all of the solo battles, trying to beat them versus decks that are not very effective with them. And today we're gonna be tackling the Mewtwo and Gardevoir deck. So this deck is arguably one of the hardest ones to beat, but just because of the way it sets up and starts kind of like a machine gun with Ralts trying to give power over to Mewtwo, which is a tank, but also really powerful. They got XPs and they know when to use them. They also got Professor Research and Sabrina. So they can, I mean, um, I know every deck has to break, um, has Professor Research, but getting, getting their cards is not gonna be super hard because this deck only has, minus the Clefables, we don't really worry about them. We really only worry about the Ralts, the Corellias, the Gardevoirs, and the Mewtwo's. That's really, that's really it. Um, these are gonna be the cards we'll be looking to kill if we see them, just because they're very easy. We wanna kill one Mewtwo and then something else. Mewtwo is um, the only EX that's in the deck and it's gonna be worth two points. So that's gonna be kind of our little thing we wanna do. Now, I think that my Brock Up deck can do this. I do love the fact that with Golem, you can take out a Mewtwo very easily. Um, you just gotta, you just gotta sit back and wait until you get the energy on it, which hopefully if we do get <laughs> some of our Brocks, uh, we can do that fairly easily. So all we gotta do is get some good luck on our pools. Hopefully they don't get some good luck. Uh, I do have this deck already in my deck list. It should be in the description. So if you're interested in it, you can grab it. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Brock decks, but I think this deck is fairly decent. Um, let's go ahead and try this out and see if we can get this W. Got to use only fighting Pokemon. Like I said, we've already beaten it plenty of times, but it can be a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain in the you know what. Oh, we did get Diglett first. I went ahead and took off my really nice Diglets because I wanted to be able to get the uh, the mission for beating these with nothing but the diamond cards as well. So here we are, already doing pretty decent because we have our um, Doug Trio coming up next and Diglett only needs one energy. We got a Golem. Let's go ahead and get a Geodude. Should be able to get one. Oh, we got another Diglett. Uh, that's okay. We'll probably be able to get one soon. Let's go ahead and put my Hitmonlee out. And I guess I'll put my other Diglett out too, just in case we need to pull it out. And what's probably gonna happen now is they probably have Professor Research or some Pokeballs. They're gonna hope to get a Mewtwo. They'll lay it down, use an XP, pull in Ralts if they have it. If they don't, well, then they just don't have it. Oh, whoa, maybe we got some good luck. Maybe we have some good luck going on right now because they don't have it. Let's go ahead and Diglett loves to go first because he only needs one energy. Turn into Duck Trio. He can start attacking right off the rip. So let's go ahead and try to get rid of some of these Ralts if we can. No reason to even worry about trying to use Giovanni or anything. Let's see if we get some heads. Can't get a head, that's okay. We're fine. Okay, so he already went into Corellia. He's probably gonna use the XP to back up and go into Mewtwo. Unfortunately, that's kind of just like the thing that they do. So he's gonna have XP. Is he going to Ralts or Mewtwo? He went into his other Ralts, interesting. Okay, he's still gonna attack us. I'm kind of happy that he didn't put his energy onto Mewtwo because that would suck. Okay, we still don't have a Geodude, which is not the best, but let's let's try this. Um, let's put a point on Hitmonlee. I am going to hit this Ralts. Hopefully we can stop. We can stop them from getting very very high up on the, uh, hopefully they don't have a Gardevoir. They only have two cards. They might have two Gardevoirs. I don't know what they got, but let's see. Oh, one of them was a Professor Research, unless he just pulled it. There's Gardevoir, unfortunately. He's gonna start to uh, really start leveling up with this Mewtwo, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead and kill this and try our best to live, I guess. I'll put another point over here on this Diglett. I got lots of extra energy right now. I really wish I had a Geodude, but we don't have it yet. And we don't have a Professor. We don't have a, another Pokeball right now. So go ahead and kill this Ralts. Okay, so next turn we do have a Diglomatic Immunity, which is good. So our real, our main hope is that we can take out this Mewtwo that's gonna come up. 
Um, I may also switch out right now and go into make him pull in Gardevoir if he doesn't have anything else to go out. He's probably going to get one of those other Pokemon like uh, Clefable or Clefairy or something like that. I mean, he only has five cards left in his deck. He has another Mewtwo. So this is not what we want. He can't hit us right now, so that's good. But as soon as we... Oh, he knows he can't. He, can, he knows he can't hurt us. Um, as soon as he gets to a point where he can actually um, like hit us, it's going to suck. So we're going to get our Geodude. We already have a Graveler, so we're going to go ahead and put a point of energy on this. We, we need to just stall to be able to get to where we need to be. If we can get this up to a Graveler next turn, then we're good. Graveler with energy on it next turn, we will be fine. I can kill this Mewtwo fairly easily with one hit. Okay, great. So we're going to survive again. They may be, they may go into a um, Sabrina. If they Sabrina us, that's not going to be great, but it is what it is. So this is why I say this is good because we got our Graveler here already. And we already have two energy on this. Now, if he kills us, it's already game over because I'm going to go into Brock and Golem and the computer doesn't understand any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt again. Well, you know what? This time I'm actually going to Sabrina him. I'm going to Sabrina them simply because I want to kind of mess them up a little bit. It doesn't really matter that much, but he's probably gonna put the other Mewtwo up. Yep, makes sense. We don't care because we deal 150 damage regardless. So let's go ahead and do dig. Next turn, we can do a surprise golem, even if we die. We don't really care. We're gonna keep on trying to live, but if we, we're gonna die. So Dugtrio is gone now, but it doesn't matter because we can go ahead and go into golem, rock, add the energy, and we kill this Mewtwo. He's not gonna swap it out. Oh, wait. Oh, he went to the other one. Okay. He is going to swap it out into the other one, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? You got six energy. That's fine. All you need is a way to take out this Mewtwo and you'll be fine. And they're not smart enough to back up, put anything else in or whatnot. It's just, a, it's just AI. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that because AI, because AI is getting kind of scary now, but we got more than enough to take out, take care of this guy. Just go for Brock, Golem. He doesn't know the danger he's in right now. We only need, we only need two more points, so. Not gonna worry about anything. Not gonna try to stump out the Gardevoir or anything like that. Just take out the Mewtwo. That's it. Easy peasy. And that's it. We beat it using nothing but fighting type Pokemon. So not not super hard if you can get set up with uh, Graveler. And like I said, a lot of people really they really shit on this deck. Like real talk. Um, but I honestly like this deck simply because if they keep that Mewtwo in and they're probably gonna, they're gonna attack and you can just swap in Graveler, go straight to Golem, throw down a Brock, throw down an energy and it's over and done with. And it's it's it can be really um, scary for the opponent too because they don't know that you're already ready to go with Golem. They don't even know Golem's on the field yet. A lot of, uh, honestly, I know this is using a solo mission, but a, per, a real life person probably wouldn't even know exactly how much damage Golem does because Golem is so rarely used in this game. So um, there we go. We we're able to win. Everything's good. Also got this challenge win with only the diamond rarities. I took off my good looking uh, diglets to, in order to do that. So, but yeah, I really do like this deck. It is my favorite deck to use when it comes down to the uh, the uh, the fighting missions. So there we go. Hopefully I can get the uh, Machamp one done for you guys fairly quickly too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do have any questions, need any help with anything else, drop it in the comments because I may be able to help you out with that too. Uh, besides that, if you like this video, there should be another one right around here somewhere. Check that one out too. We'll see you later.